But what in reality CO2 does is what it does is it controls oxygen release. So what does that mean? Meaning that if you increase the train tolerance of CO2, you're staying sharper when others have it, when others gas out. Because the better you get at tolerating high levels of CO2 in the body, the more oxygen re release you're going to get. So here I put science of CO2. CO2 drives va uh, vasodilation and oxygen delivery. Vasodilation just basically means your vascular system, your veins, where all the blood is gets pumped, gets expands, gets bigger. Okay. And then that's where it, without it, excuse me, without it, this is why I wrote this here. Without it, oxygen stays in the blood. So look, think of it this way. As you start to build up waste, which is CO2, and learning how to like endure that high tolerance of waste, what ends up happening is that your body then gets signals to increase the opening or the, the vasodilation, the expansion of those veins so that more blood can be circulated within the body, which in turn also extracts the oxygen out of the, of the blood and delivers it more to the muscle. So that learning how to tolerate that buildup of waste when you're breathing and expanding and learning how to tolerate that high level of stress and heart rate is what's going to increase the amount of oxygen that's going to the muscle. Okay. Why wouldn't you want that?